Hey, what's up ghosts? Blue Ghost here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod review. Now, specifically, this is a mod that's not really like much of a mod, but technically it could be still called a mod, but it adds in like a really cool mechanic into your game that is just like Black Ops. Yes. This is actually like a Black Ops mechanic because it adds in zombies into your game, so it can actually mm -hmm. look like you're playing Black Ops zombies, but in Minecraft. So, originally, like the fast way to get it to it in game is by t typing slash zc but what we can do actually is we could just like exit out to the main menu and um as you can see there's a little button right here that says zombie craft because zombie craft is now working with minecraft all together so here we go we have a list of maps that we could play five maps come with it and you could even like create your own maps and stuff it's really cool so the map i'm kind of wanting to play on is um uh, observation deck. Okay, let's go with observation deck. Observation deck is one of my favorites by far. So here we go. We're going in. Okay, there we go. We got level build in process. So yeah, this is like the lobby for zombie craft because this can actually be on multiplayer. And here we are, we are in the map and there was a little bit of music right there which is exactly like Black Ops Zombies. So, uh, hang on, give me one second. There we go, just adjusting my window so you can see a little bit better so the resolution doesn't get a little bit weird. Let's just turn down my sound so you can hear my voice better. There we go. So, as you can see right now, Zombies are starting to come in, just like in Black Ops Zombies. And I am trying to keep them out from coming into the barricades. And I have to push E to fix these barricades. And what you basically do is that you just, like, survive. It's basically like the whole goal. You uh, survive, get new weapons, and progress on later in the levels. And also obtain, like, power-ups, like perka Colas right here. This one is a speed cola, which basically increases your run speed, and you can build barriers much faster. Originally, the Speed Cola is designed to actually just increase your reload speed in the original game, but actually, this one just increases your run speed, which is kind of useful in a way because you could just quickly fix barricades if you're really in trouble. So there's uh, some more music right there, which was really cool. So it's like some people like would say when they play this mod that they really don't want to like play normal Minecraft or Black Ops anymore. They just would like to play this. Because Minecraft mixed with like games is like so much better than just like the originals and like people just like never want to stop playing them ever. Like Left 4 Dead 2 example, like Deathcraft 2, like is like a Minecraft map. That was like really awesome, but Imagine, like, now having Minecraft working just, like, with Black Ops. <laughs> this is just, like, absolutely amazing. And I'm running a little bit low on ammo, too. So you push R to reload. And E to fix barricades. And you also do uh, left-click to uh, fire. So in a way, it's kind of like most FPS games on PCs. Actually, like, pushing E not only fixes barricades, but it uses stuff. Like, uh-oh. So one thing you gotta be careful is that the zombies, they do inflict pretty... They're pretty hardcore with damage, because they could actually hit you pretty fast, and uh, your health could go down really fast if you're not aware of where they are, and if you can't really uh, defend yourself. In a way, this game gets, like, super difficult if you're playing it on solo, but... Actually, playing it on multiplayer is uh, so much better because you could actually progress farther. You'd have a lot of players helping you out and stuff. And the really cool thing about it is that there's actually like a, a spectating mechanic. So you got to push this a speed cola, and there we go. We're like running like a maniac right now. Go to this barricade, fix it up really quick. Oh, yeah, we're getting progress done now. And you can even right-click to melee with your weapon. But it doesn't really do much except just, like, push them back. So it's actually kind of, like, really useful if you just want to keep them back and stuff. So let's quickly build up these barricades. And, uh... Actually got enough points now to uh, buy this barricade. So we can actually break this barrier right here for 500 points. 
And uh, yeah, it unlocks more uh, things and um, you get like extra stuff. We got a shotgun here and it like basically like gets like a new area. So like getting new areas is pretty uh, good, but at the same time I think it makes the game more difficult depending on like if you're playing on single player and stuff, but actually playing on multiplayer seems to be fun too. Um, I have never played this thing on multiplayer because I didn't really see how it works really, but why is it? Oh, there we go. The shotgun just takes longer to reload and I'm gonna die. Perfect. No, wait. Come on. I can do this. Okay, there we go. Just fix this barricade right here so to make sure that they don't hit me. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're doing better this time. <laughs> wow, that was kind of close, actually. Yeah, the shotgun, the reload time, I have to say it's going to leave me open at, like, some point. Oh, jeez. There's a pistol right here. Ooh. I like this pistol a lot. Because you can fire rapidly with it, and um, it's actually pretty fun to use. Even though it sucks with damage, it's actually like one of the funnest pistols to use. And I can actually like trill the zombies with it. Yeah, even though it has low damage, it's like really fun to use. Plus, it's like really cheap too. This is originally what you're supposed to start in like normal zombies, is with a Colt M1911. But uh, no, you actually start with a Desert Eagle. A little bit odd, but yeah. That's what they would start with. Oh, jeez. I think what I want to do for this mod in the future is actually do Let's Plays on it, because this is actually, like, really, really fun once you, you have this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some Let's Plays on this. I'll do, like, download, like, maps at random and, like, give them a play, and yeah. I should make a Let's Play series on this. That would be a really good idea, so... I just unlocked an extra area. Yeah, the shotgun reload time, I have to say, it's really bad. Because that will leave me open. A barrier which unlocks a perk, I'm not going to really buy that, actually. And this texture pack, too, is really cool. This comes with the Zombiecraft game as well. It's not really like a game, but it like you install it into your client, but and then, yeah, you can get Zombiecraft and Minecraft to work all together. I think originally this was like a mod that just like worked uh, by itself. I do like the shotgun actually. It's pretty handy to have a shotgun, really. And the headshots too is like absolutely amazing. It does get gory, it's like bloody a bit, like you can shoot their heads off. It's actually, it's like really amazing, this mod. And uh, this client mod. So <laughs> I don't really know what to call it, like a mini game or something, but I would just originally call it a mod. Cause, okay. So one thing I even forgot to mention is that the zombies sometimes drop power-ups. There's one right here, it is a bomb, and if you pick it up, just like in the actual game, it will, like, get rid of all the zombies that are in the map. But it doesn't mean, like, the round's complete. It, like, only kills all the zombies that are, like, actually spawned into the map, so. It does really help out, though. I'm gonna purchase a speed coal and fix some of these barricades. It's really good, too, because I could get some points off of this. Man, having the speed coal is actually useful. Eee. I feel like I feel like I'm a scout when I'm having a speed coal. Oh no, it ran out. I can't be a scout anymore. Dang it. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm missing terribly. 
Right, this way or this way? I'm not sure. Here, I think I'm going to hold out for just a little bit longer. There's an Uzi in there. I don't know which to unlock, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some Let's Plays on this, because this is just absolutely amazing. This was originally, like, a very, very old mod, and it was, like, out since, like, the days of Minecraft was out. And then, like, of course, the guys continually just to improve it, and obviously it's, like, super, super, like, extreme and advanced. Just absolutely amazing. I love it so much. Of having to add in, like, a whole entire Call of Duty mechanic into your game that features zombies and I'm being attacked. Troll pistol. Pea shooter. <laughs> it's like my pea shooter pistol or something. Oh, crap. Now ah, they're breaking through the barriers. God, I gotta reload everything. Okay. I need another weapon. A rapid fire one would do. There was an Uzi in here, and I think it might uh, serve me pretty well. Okay, this is a death trap. Might get to skip. I might get like cornered eventually. Let's purchase a few rounds of ammo for this gun. Oh god. And the cool thing is that you don't get blocked up by zombies. You can just like run right through them. Ooh, da, da, da. Kaboom. Ooh, excuse me. Probably should have saved that kaboom, but oh well. And also, like, one tip to do is, like, be sure you have, like, enough ammo on you so that you can stay alive. Because ammo is, like, extremely valuable, as anybody can tell of a first-person shooter game. And, the, and I like that you can even, like, melee with your weapons as well. If they're getting too close, you can actually, like, push them back and, like, uh, be able to shoot them. So, like, push that guy back, and I missed right there. Okay. Yeah, the Uzi seems to be very useful. Oh, God. Here we go. Alright, let's make a train of them. And another cool thing about this is that, like, these zombies here that are, like, customly coded, so they don't, like, act like the normal vanilla Minecraft zombies. They actually act like the way they were coded on the mod. So they're actually kind of smart, really. They have like different AI configurations and such. They're pretty smart at some times, and sometimes they can act pretty stupid because they could like break up the barrier that they are came out of. Now that was a double points upgrade, which basically like increases the amount of points I earn over time when I kill zombies and rebuild barriers. So at a set of five points every time when I build these barriers, I get 10. So we're doing pretty good actually so far. I'm gonna lock this area. Double tap? Charge. Oh, I thought that was a double tap. I could have really used a double tap right here. Or at least like a uh, PHP flopper. PHP flopper is like one of the useful perks that are in the like the original game because you're resistant to fall and explosive damage and when you uh, Dive prone off of like like high areas. You uh, blow up zombies that are around you. I find that to be like one of the most like useful perks ever in the game. All right, let's circle around them and spray. Spray. All right, insta kill. Basically, I'll just one shot all zombies. I can't one shot melee them, which is bad. I wish I could just like pull off my knife and like just knife them with one hit. Double points. But we have double points and insta kill, which is a good one. Is that the power? Yeah, that's the power. <laughs> I turned the power on. I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. So I guess we turned the power on. I guess for this place. Um.
Ooh, M4. This. All right. Any type of person would want an M4. You're like severely. The, the M4 is like severely like a lifesaver, like by far. Who would not want an M4? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, that is a special zombie, and I'm about to die. Oh no 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 no! No crap. Ah. Oh well. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this mod. So, as always, if you want to go check it out for yourself, you can go into the description where I left a link for you to download. And also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a ghost and join the mansion. And as always, too, if you really did enjoy the video, then a like always helps out. But other than that, I'm Blue Ghost, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.